Hi everyone, we're back. And today I'm going to talk about the new nurse. What if she was put in a position to transfuse a patient? Well, let's take a look. Here's Sarah. She is a new nurse. She's just received a doctor's order to transfuse a patient with a unit of packed blood cells, PRBCs. Problem is, Sarah has never ever given a transfusion before. This is very frightening. So let's walk her through this whole situation. And for those of you who would like to know more about blood transfusions and reactions, there are two sources of information. You can go to um, dearnurses.com and clinical scenarios that could have been avoided on page 22 is very helpful. Another place you can find information is the clinical settings step-by-step -step, chapter 1 for dearnurses.net. So Sarah has received her doctor's order. Needless to say, she's never given blood. What can we help her learn? Well, here are some helpful hints. The most important thing is, if you are put in that situation, you need to consider looking carefully at the doctor's orders. First of all, exactly what the doctor orders is what you're going to follow. And of course, I emphasized before, institutions, policies, and procedures, very important for blood transfusion. Another thing you can do, you're supposed to check that patient's ID, make sure you have the correct patient, just in case there are two people with the same name. Another thing, uh, blood with another licensed person. Typically, when you check blood, you always have to check it with another licensed person. Follow your institution's policies and procedures. Did you check the patient's history for compatibility, making sure that patient has had previous, whether or not they've had previous transfusions, blood, a reaction to that transfusion? And, of course, this patient education and those guidelines you'll follow depending on what your unit permits. Now let's move on to some helpful pointers with when we transfuse patients with blood. Blood has its own special tubing, which is a Y tubing. On one side, it's got two separate uh, entry ports, one for blood and one for saline. Blood is typically never infused along with uh, D5W. It's only normal saline. And <clears throat> there is a special chamber when you see the way that it has a filter and the blood is usually, you know, filled. Up. the filter has to be completely saturated. Patients who have, some patients have difficulty with blood transfusions, and I've seen doctors order antihistamines prior to transfusions. Whatever it is, it's very important that you follow your institution's policies and procedures and doctor's orders. Hope you've learned something from this situation. Have a nice day.